Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks on the touch bar. And I'm going to be showing you guys this on the M1 MacBook Pro. So the touch bar is made out of two distinct sections. So on the left you have the app controls and that is going to change dynamically depending on what app you have open. And on the right you have the control strip and that is a set of icons and a set of features that is going to be there always. So the control strip has two modes. So it is the compact mode and there you can only have four icons and four features. So if you click on the arrow, you can have the expanded options. So if you go to the Apple logo and say system preferences and you go to keyboard, there you will see some options that you can customize. And there is a button that's going to allow you to customize the control strip. So say customize control strip. There you will see the screen changes and it just pops up. So you can select on an icon and drag it to your touch bar and you can drag an icon from your touch bar to your screen. So this is really cool that you can customize what you want on your control strip all the time. And it is such a convenience. So let's say you don't want the mute button there. You can just drag it off of your screen or the Siri button. So let's see what we use every day. So I use AirPlay a lot so you can just put it over there and play and pause. So you can expand it and customize what you want in the expanded view as well. There is a default set that you can use but let's customize this. Let's take out the keyboard brightness and put screenshot in there. Let's take out mission control and let's put control center in there as well. So you say done. So what's cool about the touch bar is it allows you to adjust your volume very quickly. So you just touch on the volume button and you don't have to touch on it and then adjust it. You can just press and hold and you can adjust it like that. And it works the same with the brightness of your screen. You don't have to do it like that, but that works also. You can just touch and hold and drag it and you will see it works quick and easy. So with the touch bar, it makes it so much quicker to airdrop an image or a document. I love airdrop and it's so much quicker than anything. You can go to the finder and if you click on an image, you can just click on your touch bar and say airdrop and it's really easy and fast. So if you want to take a screenshot you can just press command shift 4 and there it will give you the option to take a screenshot and on the touch bar you can see save to and some people forget about that option but you can just click it and it can save to your desktop, documents or clipboard. So let me show you some ways the touch bar comes in handy with different apps. So if you go to the calculator, you can see on the touch bar, you can say 5 multiply by 6 equals. So it is really close together and you don't have to use your mouse to do it. I think it is really easy and nice to use and it's really as quick as that. So if you go to photos, you can use your touchpad to preview photos and edit photos. So let's say edit. There on your touchpad you will see the color, there you can change the brightness and here you see filters and you can scroll through the filters. So the touch bar is really a convenience and it is so easy to use. All the options are there so you don't have to move with your touchpad and with your mouse. It makes everything much quicker. So I can show you on Safari. So you can switch through tabs visually on your touch bar. So there you can actually see what is on that web pages. So F1 to 12 are still there. So just press the F in button. And there you will see on your touch bar it is displayed there. So this feature is really cool and I didn't know about it. But if you go to the Apple logo and you go to system preferences 
keyboard and you go on top to shortcuts and screenshots there you will see some options on how to take a screenshot of your touch bar so you just press command shift 6 and there it took a screenshot of your touch bar thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful please subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below and please like this video and i hope you guys have a lucky day bye